Today we get to cruise in this 1971 Ford Mustang Mach 1, real deal M code Mach 1, factory 4 speed, factory blue on blue Mach 1. This car is restored back to factory specs, riding on a nice set of, uh, brand new set of Magnum 500 rims, new BFG radial TA tires, just a fantastic looking turnkey, cruise night, local car show quality car. Again, this is an M code 351 Cleveland four barrel car and that's exactly what it's got in it today. Air cleaner and stuff's all brand new. It does have power steering. It's got power front disc brakes. Beautiful engine compartment. It's got a Mallory ignition, new battery. So this MCO 351 Cleveland's backed up by a four-speed transmission, and that's exactly how this car came from the factory. Bottom of the hood, black paint looks good. The car has a few little paint imperfections, a few little bubbles, stuff like that, but the overall condition of the car, in my opinion, is excellent. The front nose has some little hairline paint cracks in the front bumper. The grill is in excellent shape. Appears to be original. The chrome around the grill looks good. As we look at our uh, hood gap on the driver's side, it has a nice even gap from front to back. Lines up beautifully on the top of the fender. Does have a front chin spoiler and a new license plate bracket. Um, it's got a few little scuffs on the chin spoiler. As we look across the hood paint, the hood paint all looks good. Gap on the passenger side. Fender to hood is really nice as well. This car does have tinted glass, brand new wheels and tires, and a fantastic look. But the best part about this car, and we'll get to it in a little bit, is the way it drives, the way it handles, and, and pretty much everything works. The trunk light works in the trunk. It's got the spare and jack and mat. It's just a fantastic looking and driving real deal Mach 1. The gap on the front fender to door is excellent. Nice wide gap from top to bottom. Nice and even. As far as uh, we got just a little bit of tar here on the lower uh, front fender needs to be taken off. No bubbles or blisters in that lower fender. Um, there is some little chips in the clear coat, just from little rock chips and stuff. It does have the wheel well trim on it. The front of the door is excellent. No bubbles or blisters in that door or rocker panel. We do have some little bubbles here in the very back side of the door, right at the very back. Rocker panel is excellent. No bubbles or blisters there. No bubbles or blisters in this lower quarter area. That's excellent. Over top of the wheel is excellent. And behind the wheel, there's no bubbles or blisters. So very solid car, but it does have a bubble in the lower door on the passenger side. Other than that, if you look at the body, it's a beautiful blue, super straight, wet sand and buff nice. It's got an excellent shine. Check out the dual exhaust. It's got the correct cutouts on there. Um, beautiful chrome tips, polished nicely, back bumpers all been buffed and looks great. Tail light lenses look original, the honeycomb looks original, so there's a little bit of wear on those, but still very, very presentable there. This car looks really nice from the back end. 351 sounds great. It's got the rear spoiler, all the silver stripes to match. Um, trunk lid here. Look how that trunk lid fits. Fits very nicely there, nice and flush. Same thing here on the driver's side. Fits nice and flush on the top side also on both. Tinted rear glass, tinted side glass. As we look at the top, there's never had any hail damage or dings, anything that I can see. There's no waves or ripples. And you can just tell the metallic's really nice in it. And as you rub your hand across it, the paint's very smooth. As we go to the uh, passenger side door, the door jam paint's just as nice as the exterior paint. It's 
got all the correct tire pressure. The door rubbers are still nice and pliable. I know when the previous owner had this car painted, it might have been four or five years ago. I know he spent over $10,000 on the, the paint and restoration. And uh, mechanically, this car just, like I said, it drives fantastic. Door jams all look good, sill plates look good, carpet looks nice. Um, the door panels, guys, could very well be original. We have a little scuff down here at the very bottom. Armrest bases and stuff look good. Door panels look good. This is original AM Philco Radio Works. Dome light works up here get turned around. Dome light works. The interior lights work on it. As we open up the glove box, the glove box is all in nice shape. Paint on the dash is good. Dash pad is excellent. No cracks in the dash pad. It's got the Hearst four-speed shifter. Nice boot. The clock, guys, does not work. Our heater fan works. Oil pressure is right in the middle. It's been running here for about eight minutes. Alternator gauge works, temp gauge works. So everything here works, guys, except for the clock. Um, just to be on the safe side, as far as oil pressure, we do have another oil pressure gauge over here, so both gauges are working. We're carrying about 38 pounds of oil pressure after it's all warmed up, and that's running about uh, 800 RPM. As far as the uh, interior, trim pieces are excellent. The carpet's all been shampooed nice. If we look at the quality of the paint inside here, this car has always been blue. That's how it came from the factory. Looks nice in there. Door shut good. There is a tiny, I just noticed it here, there's a tiny, very, very small little ding um, right there in front of my pinky. Very, very small. Other than that, the rest of the body's straight. It has uh, dual sport mirrors, all painted body color. car is about as straight as they come guys uh, if you're looking for a beautiful parade car cruise night car local car show quality car something you can jump in and drive this is it I mean you'll be dang proud of this car driver's side straight as the passenger you can see your reflection anywhere in the car beautiful finish no bubbles or blisters behind the wheel over the wheel looks excellent in front of the wheel this all this area here is no bubbles or blisters nothing in the rocker there's a little hint of a tiny little surface rust spot right here not a bubble or blister yet just a little paint chip with a surface rust spot our door gap is nice and even from top to bottom stripes line up nicely same thing on our front fender we got really nice gaps stripe lines up body line lines up pretty good on it no bubbles or blisters on the lower fender. Again, there's a little clear coat chips from little tiny rock chips down there. A um, little bit of surface rust right here on this edge of the rocker where the paint has actually chipped. You can see right on the edge there, that's just paint chips with a little surface rust. Um, other than that, rocker is super solid. So the biggest bubble on this entire car, guys, is passenger side lower door. Other than that, great looking car. Here's our corner of the door on the driver's side. It's got all our factory codes, M code, body is 63R, which tells us the Mach 1 color is 6, trim is 1B, axle 9, trans 5, DSO 74. Paint on the door jam is just as nice as the paint on the exterior of the car. Here's your bottom of your door. Driver's side door panel looks to be in great shape too. Uh, original armrest guys over here, you can just tell just from your arm, there's some fading on the armrest pad and there's some, some scuffs as you go in and out right here on the driver's seat. Other than that, the rest of the interior really looks good. We've got all our correct auto light stickers and stuff like that in the jam. A little surface rust here where the paint's chipped in the jam.
carpet looks great. Rim blown steering wheel works, gas gauge works, factory tack works. Uh, car shows 37,131 miles on the odometer. Speedometer works. So every single thing, let's see if the wipers here. Yeah, wipers work good. Check our cigarette lighter. This car really sounds nice too. Idles nice, sits here and idles the whole time. It's not getting warm. Cigarette lighter doesn't seem to be working, neither is the clock. Other than that, guys, everything works. Including the trunk light, that works as well. E-brake works. It does have the overhead uh, seat belts and the retractable. This doesn't get. It does have the retractable bottoms for the front too. And it's got seat belts for two in the back. In the back seat and the back shelf, I didn't really get to that a whole bunch, but as we look back here, the back seat and the back shelf are in great shape. Got the seat belts back there. The overall condition of this car inside and out, it's a super cool car. Again, in my opinion, the best thing about this car is the way it drives. The rubber seem really nice inside. Nice, uh, not much wind noise at all. Carburetor doesn't miss a beat. Here's your brakes, absolutely no pull left or right. You got a nice full pedal. Again, they're powered disc with power steering. Breaks the tires loose in second. This sound, car sounds fantastic. Speedometer works good. Shows are doing 65 mile an hour, doing about 2,500 RPMs, 2,600. Four barrel kicks right in, 80, 3,500 RPMs, 90, 40. Right at 90s, 4,000 RPM. So I mean, this car is gets with the program, but it'll also cruise down the interstate all day long. I think this car could be uh, drove home anywhere you want to go. It handles fantastic.